Good day. So we are finally at the point where we're just about to hook up the nuclear power plant and watch that awesome rise in power and see the final result and reward of all the hours work we've put in. So the plan for this video is to quickly go through uh, basically what we've done since the last video in prep for the nuclear, do a quick little tour of, of factories, like really brief, and, and then get to the point where we hook it all up and do a little bit of troubleshooting. I'll record it uh, as I do it and uh, watch that nice spike in the graph and see all the particle accelerators fire up and all the rest of it. All right, so what have we done? Uh, I just finished laying down the last set of batteries here. So what you can see here is 2,400 batteries or power storages. Uh, it's a 49 by 49 square with the very center tile uh, instead of a battery, a nice tower. And there's power going up there. You can actually fly up there uh, with a whole pack. Um, since I just put the last one down, um, it's not fully charged and it's only charging at 57 or so. Um, so it's gonna be an hour and 27 before it's fully charged. There's a little bit more belting to do, so I'll cut the video and um, it'll be fully charged by the time I turn everything on. All right, so let's go have a quick look around. All right, so on the eastern side here, the eastern factories, which are the safe factories. Uh, previously, we've already seen Fry's uh, quick wire factory that he built. We need a shitload of quick wire. Um, and there's kind of a belt intersection here on the main bus. Um, you can see a lot of things going up and down. Not everything's running at the moment. Um, and I'll speak about the why some of it's running in a sec. Okay, so over here, this is essentially a um, electromagnetic control rod factory, this one. Um, so you see all the inputs, it uses a lot of quick wire, um, circuit boards, steel, quartz, um, all going in here. Alright, so these, factor, uh, these manufacturers are making the high speed connectors. Um, we've got constructors making silica, constructors making pipes, uh, we're making stators, and then the f finished product here is the electromagnetic control rods. Right, and we've got 140 odd of those coming out. In this factory. All right, we'll move on to the next set of factories. Alrighty, so here is the crystal oscillator and beacon factory. Okay, so the finished product is these three manufacturers making the beacons we need 30 per minute this recipe actually uses crystal oscillators and we get 10 per minute so three of those is 30 per minute um, and these set of manufacturers here is making 15 crystal oscillators per minute and we're using the alternate recipe which uses rubber and ai limiters all right cool and there's the ai limiters getting made there so essentially this this factory spits out crystal oscillators and beacons Beacons come down that belt, they take a while and then every so often these spit out a bunch of 10 um, and we've merged them onto the same belt and we're splitting them later. All right, so beacons and crystal oscillators. This is the aluminium factory or aluminum if you're American. Um, a whole bunch of different things coming in here. Coal, sulfur, bauxite, um, rubber and petroleum coke from the rubber factory over there. Rubber factory and petroleum coke. I've shown that one previously. Right, again, everything I'm showing now is just to get nuclear up and running. Okay, so uh, nuclear and plutonium. We're making the crystal, uh, the circuit boards here on this alternate recipe that uses rubber and coke. And then essentially the rest of this factory is aluminium and it's making aluminium casings and heat sinks. All right, and they're spitting out to go to the other factories. Now this factory is going to be constantly running and the reason for that is because of these blenders. These blenders are making the aluminium scrap and they have a byproduct of water. So the way this uh, is set up is um, so much of this recycled water. Um, so if you look at just one machine, it uses 60 water and it spits out 50 water. There's eight machines, so essentially I'm only need I'm only in a deficit of 80 water, so I only need 80 water here, okay, from this one thing to run this whole lot. But I've got it set to 75 because if you've ever dealt with pipes and aluminium before, you never ever ever want this to overflow. 
and I'm just giving it the tiniest deficit so it never overflows. And the other thing I'm doing is constantly crushing this aluminium scrap. There's four rows of 600 um, aluminium scrap and I'm just overflow crushing them so that this system continuously runs no matter what. All right, this is all backed up, but that's running. All right, so that's our aluminium factory. Cool, we can move over to the dangerous side of things now. All right, so before I move over to the dangerous side, uh, so this is all the safe stuff, um, just quickly show, I'll have a little quick look around under here. This is this whole floor underneath the train stations was always gonna be for load balancing and uh, logistics, and that's pretty much exactly what's happened. Um, so a lot of belts going everywhere, coming from the train station, going to the east, and then coming back from the west, going to the west, a uh, bit of load balancing here for all the different things. All right. That's basically that. Uh, have a quick peek up in here. Anything that comes down has a little doorway. Just using the hover pack now. All right, so all the train stations drop all the stuff, go underneath, and then um, away we go. All right, so let's move over to the first factory of the danger side. You can see the now. Oh, here we go. Okay, so. Uh, this is the first factory. Um, this is temporary. This is going to uh, be gone soon, just for building. All right, as you can see, everything is hooked up uh, now, just waiting for the uranium. Okay, so everything is backed up. That's what we wanted to do to be able to troubleshoot it uh, to the max uh, before we insert uranium into the system and get it radiated. All right, so there's where the uranium's going to come from. All we have to do is hook these belts up and then um, boom away we go all right so I will do that in a second um, and that's gonna make the uranium cells a whole bunch of quick wire sulfur that's getting made into silica and then this will be the output so we'll follow that to the next factory Right, so once we get the uh, uranium cells, they'll come over to this factory and they'll mix with the electromagnetic control rods, the crystal oscillators and the beacons. Um, so here's the blank belt for the nuclear stuff that's coming here. As you can see, all these machines are backed up, ready to go, just waiting for the encased uranium cells. Beautiful, some nice, neat belt work here. Fry um, did this one. Well, he came in and finished all the belts for me. Excellent. Um, so basically that's all we're waiting for now for this factory and I will be able to plug the nuclear in uh, I'll show you in just a second we'll just go over there now okay uh, this is where the uranium Fuel rods are coming down, or the nuclear fuel rods. They're gonna come down this belt and I've deleted that for a reason. Okay, and then it's gonna go into the nuclear uh, factory. <laughs> nuclear factory, the nuclear power plant. All right, now I'll just quickly go through the nuclear power plant. I briefly showed it before, but it's all finished and it looks really nice. Okay, so up top, We've gone for a nice, clean look. Everything looks so clean. Just three inputs, or two inputs and an output for each one and a nice little power connection. All right, so up here, everything is just nice and clean and everything busy is happening underneath. I say that it's busy underneath, but underneath is actually really nice looking too. And I'm gonna go have a look at that. I'll just drop off the edge. But yes, as you can see, 70 nuclear plants all hooked up all OCD friendly and nice. Okay, so under here, we have all the belts, so the output for the waste and the input for the uranium rods and obviously all the water that we could poke a stick at. And I said in the last video, I'm overfeeding these nuclear plants uh, with water, slightly more than 300. That's why I've got two extractors on each one. 
but um, it actually looks really nice under here too. And just a quick, uh, every single one of these setups is the same. Um, just would like to point out, because I did all this, there is actually no clipping at all with any of these power lines. All right, so none of these power lines clip. I, I hate it when the power lines clip through the, the extractor. Um, so my OCD wouldn't allow me to set it up with any clipping. All right, so this is this is how this works. All right, so these um, lines going west and east, they deliver um, to all the different rows, and then we split and go across to all the different rows. What I am gonna do now uh, is, because it's gonna be hard to troubleshoot once it's, uh, in case we've missed anything, once it's irradiated, I am going to uh, connect right here a container just temporarily right, it doesn't matter where it is it's temporary all right and then I'm going to put some quick wire in here or something quick wire is nice and easy to see how much do I have yeah I got about 600 or so quick wire I'm gonna smash the quick wire into here first I'm gonna save the game and then I'm gonna smash the quick wire into here and watch it uh, populate the system and uh, it should be good so that's what I'll do right now all right the game is saved what I'm gonna do is drop the quick wire in and then if the quick wire makes it to every single nuclear plant then at least we can troubleshoot the uh, we've troubleshot the belt uh, going to all the plants uh, the waste we won't be able to do a similar thing because it's back the other way but yeah so the, all I'll do is I'll reload the game all right so we'll just watch this quick wire go in And hopefully, um, it should find its way to every single, uh, if, if that's enough quick wire, uh, 600 or so should be enough. If a piece of quick wire finds its way to every single um, machine, every single power plant, then I know that we've done it right. All right, so I'll just go along here. It's looking good. The first row is looking good. I'm just going to head back and make sure I didn't I probably need to put some more items in there alright so what's easy to see uh, I guess wire it doesn't really matter I'll put some more wire on plastic's easy to see as well um, we'll All right, I've chucked some wire and plastic there too, just so that the belts can fill right up. All right, so found a problem already, which is uh, not good, but it's actually good because this is exactly why I've done what I've been doing here. Oh, okay, it seems like that one's got a piece. This one has not, for whatever reason, got any. So this is exactly why I've done it this way. Um, I don't want to troubleshoot this with nuclear stuff all through the system. Uh, I want to troubleshoot it with non-nuclear stuff. All right, so that one's got one. This one, for some reason, hasn't got one. All right, it seems like this actually takes a long time to fill up. Uh, I can't imagine how long this is gonna take with 14.4 uh, nuclear fuel rods per minute, but this is why I wanna test the system um, with something like, like non-radioactive first. All right, so I'm just having a look around now and making sure that it, there's something on each belt and then I'll reload the save game and we should be good to go. Alrighty, so I have loaded the save game to before I filled the system with non-radioactive items and now I can get rid of this and put the belt back and now we know we've troubleshot it at least as far as the inputs go for this uh, power plant. I'll just go over to this, uh, the first stage of plutonium production because that is all belted up and ready to go and quickly speak about that.
Right, so this is the a bit. This is actually a bit of a beast of a factory. This one uh, took took me quite a while to put together. Uh, so the inputs here are the uh, iron plates for nitric acid, uh, the nitrogen itself, eighteen hundred nitrogen, some sulfur. Then we're going to have the uh, uranium waste coming down this line from the nuclear plant, and this here is actually uranium itself. So take a quick look at the recipe. Um, this this, rep, this is the one I chose to use, it makes a lot of non-fissile. It actually uses the 25 waste and 25 uranium. Um, and that's what I've chosen to use. So more uranium coming in. These four output lines here are four 600 lines of the non-fissile uranium. Yes. Yep. No, set, they're 700 lines. Seven blenders, four rows of seven four 700 lines of non-fissile uranium and then go in there. All right, so the rest of the factory is making nitric acid and sulfuric acid and the final um, factory is back there, uh, the, there to deal with the excess water from here. Um, and I'm gonna crush wet concrete. All right, so that, uh, that's this factory. What I'm going to do is, actually we'll just go over to this one. No, I won't go over there. I'll explain what I'm gonna do now. What I'm going to do is belt up this factory here uh, and belt up that final factory there. But while I do that, uh, before I do that, I'm going to go over there and hook up the actual uranium because what will happen is um, we'll start making nuclear fuel rods while I'm belting this up. So this line here will get all the nuclear fuel rods and back up into the machines there and there'll be 24 machines backing up to 100 rods each. So I'm not going to put a container um, and then before I um, smack it in there, we'll have a nice boost of, um, of nuclear fuel rods to, to get these all up online um, in hopefully a reasonably quick uh, way. Um, this line here, I'm gonna connect the uranium as well. So these machines will be filled with uranium um, and just waiting for the waste. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Alright, so here I am. I'm just going to quickly chuck a quick save in before I do this. Alright, so when I connect this, hopefully, uh, I do have the, the radiation suit and some um, cartridges for it, but hopefully I can just, with the hover pack being up this high, doesn't kill me too much. I have uh, quite a few um, asthma inhalers, um, but we'll have a look at this while, while it goes in. Alright, we'll just do this. Get this uranium going. It's going to get irradiated here. Away we go. Look at that nice fluoro green come in. So, if, if as you can see, I'm actually just floating up just above the radiation level. It will build up. Um, but these machines are going to start firing up now. I. I I have got radiation, but look how slowly my health ticks down in the bottom left there. Alright, so here we go, encased uranium cell. Boom, we'll probably be able to see the first one come out. Oh, there they go. We're away. So while this is happening, um, and we're stacking up rods, um, it'll give us a little bit of a chance to troubleshoot, uh, whoops, to troubleshoot this factory and this factory. Oh dear, um, but I can't help myself. I'm gonna have to go over here and have a look at the first nuclear fuel rod get made. If I can get there in time. All right, Which, has any of these machines gone green yet? Right, it's gonna trickle feed in. Uh, it needs 20 and it's only got two. <laughs> Here we go. Six, seven. We've got 10. Oh no, it needs, it needs a hundred. <laughs> it needs a hundred. This first uh, machine will, these will start coming in a bit quicker. 
And as you can see, not too much radiation at the moment. I have to get really close to these to, to start getting irradiated. In fact, wow, these aren't even radioactive. I guess they're encased cells. Unless the game's glitching, I'm not getting any radiation from them. 50, it's coming in quick now. Right, so the idea is this factory will back up all these machines. There's 24 of them. They'll um, they'll back up all the way up, and these will have stacks of 100. Or do they stack in 50? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there's... Anyway, um, we're going to back this whole thing up. All right, so while this is all happening, I'm going to go over and belt this factory up and belt this factory up. And we'll check in in a minute. All right, so this is fired up. It takes 300 seconds to make one, so I'm not gonna hang around here and wait for that to happen. But what should happen is all these belts will back up. All right, I'm off to do a whole bunch of belting. And I'll see you in a little bit. Rightio, I have belted up the particle accelerator factory. 38 particle accelerators and they are dealing with the non-fissile uranium coming from that first factory there. Uh, so we have the four input lines uh, of the non-fissile uranium coming in, four 700 lines, and they split off right and left, two left, two right. We have the aluminium casings, and I've just spent the last half hour or so belting all of this in. So all the machines will be uh, prepped with alley casing, just waiting for that non-fissile uranium. And then uh, they'll all merge onto this one line and do the encased plutonium cells and then head over to the final factory which makes the plutonium fuel rods over there, which is 50 manufacturers. All right, so whilst that was happening, we were um, making the uranium fuel rods. So I'm just gonna go and have a look. And here we go, look at this, we are getting them. Um, this line's not even, oh, here we go. Perfect timing, look at that, it's just backing up. This line is uh, backing up into the machines now, that's actually really good timing. Um, and then these machines will start stocking up. Right. And um, I cut the line up there, so the uh, factory itself is not, um, the power station itself is not receiving these yet. Like I said, I wanna give it a nice boost at the start, shove as many in as possible, 780 at a time. Um, so we're just gonna let this back up. Uh, taking a bit of damage. Uh, the um, uranium line here is going to that factory there. All right, so we'll head over to the last final factory and belt that up. And here we go. Okay, this is the final factory I need to belt up. There's 50 manufacturers here. Luckily, it's in uh, one long line. I can put the um, the manifold down the center here. This is probably gonna take me a little bit to belt up. Uh, so uh, the, the inputs here are two steel inputs because we're making a little constructor set up over there to make the iron beams, uh, the steel beams. So steel beams. Uh, we have the heat sinks, the electromagnetic control rods, and that um, fourth one there will be coming from the particle accelerators, which is the encased plutonium cells. And we're making the plutonium fuel rods. Uh, showed last time. They will be coming along here, the finished product, and I've put them, I've set it up like this, just getting a little bit fancy, whatever. Uh, Mark one belt, so you can see them slowly cruise along here and then get crushed. And that's how we have um, 70 nuclear plants with no waste. Um, and again, we can make more, 120 more nuclear plants, but that will be for another time. Okay, so all these machines are powered up, uh, recipe set. We just need to do the belt work. So I will come back in a little while when I have done all this. Okay, I've done it. I've belted up the last factory and that took me, I don't know, half an hour or so. Uh, a little bit repetitive, but smashed it all in. 
Uh, nice, neat manifold setup on these 50 manufacturers now. Um, I'll just show what's happening here real quickly. Got all the heat sinks coming in, the electromagnetic rods, um, and splitting down that way. This blank line here will be for the um, encased plutonium cells coming from there. Actually, that looks pretty cool looking down there. That might be a, that might be a screenshot I set up. Anyway, uh, so yep, that's all coming down there. Um, these are just preloading now. Um, the steel beams are coming in from the other end because um, we've got a little steel beam factory here, 225 a minute. Um, so I'll just let that pre-populate while that's happening. Now, one thing I do want to do is uh, right now with the power, we have the motor factory turned off. I can't ping that far. That's about 10,000 megawatts. And then the quick wire factory in the main base, which is pretty huge itself because it's got a uh, Caterium factory and a copper factory built into it that is turned off as well the batteries have charged up we have 24 uh, 240,000 megawatts stored in the batteries which we're definitely going to break the grid when I turn this on um, but yeah basically we're going to get in and, and and do it all right I've just saved the game and taken the Hypertube cannon from over there to the motor factory over here. Um, it's been a while. Look at those frames. They're holding out pretty good considering how much I'm looking at. Uh, so I've got the fog turned off and um, this motor factory is actually turned off at the moment. When I turn it on, it should add another roughly 10,000 uh, megawatts to the system. Uh, you remember in a previous video I had said I was going to wall it up. I started walling it up to prevent FPS loss. But uh, with my new computer, it's uh, holding out not too bad. And I don't think walling it up makes too much of a difference. So I've got a nice little uh, battery connector down here. Not a battery connector, a switch. We'll just go in and turn this bad boy back on. Um, ooh. I also do have uh, Jed's just joined the game at the moment, so that's probably going to not help with the FPS a little bit. All right, so we're drawing 61,000 roughly. Let's whack this on. It's not all going to come online at once. In fact, look at that. We broke the grid straight away. Nice. All right, so we're running on battery power right now. It would appear. It would appear that we're running on batteries and we have a minute, an hour and a half. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, coming into the main base to Turn back on the quick wire factory on the main base. All right, now just a quick one. Uh, if I can get up high enough to have a quick little look, probably can't. So when I turn on this quick wire factory, it's going to fire up this factory down here, which is making a shitload of copper, and it's also going to fire up. If I can see. Down there, a nice big factory uh, doing Caterium. So we're going to be drawing a lot of power. I'm not sure exactly how much. Um, also, uh, we've played around a bit with our trophy stand setup, and it's starting to look pretty cool. And that one is there for the um, the nut. Let me get the nut. All right. Uh, I've got the fog turned off at the moment. Uh, this is going to. This is what's going to happen uh, when we turn on the quick wire factory. We should see a nice amount of flowing gold come out of there. So let's turn it on. We draw an even more power. And let's just watch this for a sec. Because it doesn't take long. And it looks pretty cool.
Um, and there we go, they're all flowing. That is pretty damn cool. All right, let's move on. Actually, I'll just unmute uh, Discord. I can talk to Jed and we'll get this going. Have you got um, like asthma puffers and stuff? Nah. A radiation suit? <laughs> no, I'll, say, I'll hang back. I'll say. All right, uh, well, we've only got, <laughs> we've only got like 20 minutes till the batteries run out. Yeah, go for it, man. I'm in a hive too now. Alright, I'm gonna connect it. Me. I'm connecting it up. Here we go. In they go. They're quite radioactive, these things. The, um, slowly dying from travelling in the hive too next to the <laughs> Next to the um, uranium, but it's, yeah. all, it's all good to out now. Yeah, I've got a few healing packs for you. If you get down the end here. I just have to use the old... Yeah, you can, you can float high enough that it doesn't get you. If you float above... Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, we're producing waste already. Oh, look at that power spike. I gotta take a screenshot of that. I gotta get a screenshot. Yep, got it. Okay, oh yeah. I've arrived. All right, the waste is coming in. Where are you? Here, I'll drop you some. I'll drop you some thingies. It's about to get real spicy here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just um. Here, you don't have a radiation so suit. No, I didn't have time to get anything because I didn't oh. want to keep you waiting. <laughs> yeah. Here, take those. Right there. Oh, yeah. Alright. Holy crap, I came low just then. Look at the waste. Oh, we've put, shoved all the rods in now. I'm probably going to... Right, we're up to 154... Another one's online. I can relax now because I can. Alright, so hopefully, if I haven't messed up right. any of this, look at all that waste. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> hopefully, I haven't messed up this factory, man, because this should be spitting out non fissile uranium. Here it comes. I'm going to follow it to the. Um, to the, oh. This is where it gets, where it gets really, really spicy. <laughs> no, I think the non fissile's not too bad. Okay, yeah. One. It'll probably yeah, actually, either. it'll take a bit because there's so many, um... Oh no, it'll start pumping in. Yeah, they're barely radioactive, radioactive at all. Yeah. Are they, are they even radioactive? They, they, um... Well, I'm, the encased like plutonium... Yeah, the encased plutonium cells weren't. I don't know if it's a no, bug. No, they're, they're not, that's not radioactive at all. Yeah, well, I think it might be a bug. Okay. But anyway. It is non fissile uranium. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so and these are coming pick in. One up. Don't pick one up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's starting to pump in. Oh, it's hard for me to check the belts. That's alright. It's going to fluctuate for a while. Yeah. And the, the belts, belts are glitchy in multiplayer. So the first ones to fire up will be down the end, down this end here. <laughs> it needs 150 non-fissile and it's sitting at 40, this one. If my maths is correct, we should have 247,000 megawatts once everything is... Um, Put at, up, up, up and running. Right. Yeah, that wouldn't be running. And here we go. Yep. It's pulling up. Yes. I wonder how long it takes. Oh, it'll say on the next page. Uh... 120 seconds. Look at the power usage. Oh, that's cool. This is going to look so good at night. There's the second one firing up. Man, they're not all online. There's so much nuclear waste coming out. Look how much megawattage it uses. Yeah, it's mental. Oh, look how much power we lost. We just lost a lot of power. 
Because oh, it, wow. yeah, it's going to take a while for them all to be like stable. Yeah. I wonder how radioactive it'll be. Oh, it's going to pop out the back here. Whoa! Oh yeah, pretty, pretty radioactive. radioactive. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. There it goes. There they go. Nice and flat. Yeah. Oh, under yeah. here's under here's starting yeah. to look really glowy and awesome. Like these first machines, they're not gonna they're not gonna drop off because they're all they're all like fifty. They're all got stacks yeah. of fifty inside. Oh, they do look good at night time. Wait till they're all up and running. Hmm. I'll bet. I wonder if they run in unison. Like if you know if you load in. Yeah, I reckon they will. Running, will they all do their animation in yeah. in unison? Like I reckon they will after a, after a game save. Yeah. To wow, make that's a long time. Yeah. To make one. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's really hurting me. Oh, there I can see one. I put it on. I put them on. Here we go. I put them on Mark One belts on purpose. Yes. All right. Where are you? Oh, you're up in the center. Yeah. So where do they go out the back there? Out to here. Oh, I'm coming over. Slowly but surely. Yeah, I put them on um, Mark 1 belts on purpose. Wow, so that, yeah, this is why you need so many, because it takes them so long to make one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Making it slow. Yep. Slow crawl to the resource So this is, this is the finished product. It's not that radioactive. I'm right next to it. Yeah, it's really not that bad. There's only one of them. Though. I dare you to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I can't. Because I don't have anywhere to put it. Yeah, you don't. Oh, you can I put it in a... I can throw it out, though. I can throw it out, can't I? Well, you it probably can, be, actually. Yeah. It could be sunk into a resource. Yeah. Thing, so I'm probably just... Alrighty, I've been running this for a while. I've been uh, letting the machines back up for quite some hours. And I've only got the back row turned on, the rest are in standby. But what they do is they uh, they still accept, they still accept the rods. Um, so at the moment, What's running is just the back 15, but I've, I've been letting these build up to 50 before I turn them on. So let's go back and have a look. Um, I got a fresh set of um, asthma inhalers. Luckily we have heaps of supplies to create those with. Um, I could be wearing my radiation suit, but um, it's not that bad, it's just faster to fly around. Um, what I'll do is I'll just let it, uh, I'm probably just going to leave the game for another hour or so and come back and let this back up and then I'm going to start on uh, taking the rest of them on off standby. Can see that the first few rows under here have started to back up. And it looks really cool under here with all the glowing um, uranium everywhere. That's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for all the lines to back her up and then I can fire up the rest of the machines, fire up the rest of the power stations here. Alright. Time to go do something for a while and let this run and I'll come back in an hour or so. Okay, I have left it for another hour or so. I have left it run and yes, I am aware, I am slowly dying here. But I have my trusty asthma inhaler. Now, as you can see, the first ones have backed all the way up. Now the rods coming down are not going to go left and right to these rows. They're backed up and the machines are on standby. The rods are coming down to this last row. All these ones have got 50 in them and they've backed up to here. We're just waiting on 
you can see it's now backing up to here when they come in. Remember only 14.4 per minute is coming in and only the back 15 are turned on at the moment. There goes another rod. Let's follow it on its journey and then that's backed up. Okay, so we're all backed up all the way to here. Now once this finally backs up, all the way to the middle, all the way to here, then we'll start coming up, oh, then we'll come all the way to back to here and we'll start going through to here. Some of these machines are already backed up to 50 as well. Whoops, I wasted one. All right, but we're at the point now. We're at the point now where all the machines at least have, uh oh, all the machines at least have a few in them. And it's gonna take probably another hour or so to, for them all to back up. But you can see from the top here, these ones are all, this, this back row 15 is the only row, ones that are switched on at the moment. The rest are just in standby. Got a nice solid line, 109,000 megawatts. 50 in there. Anyone that are backed up, they all have 50. But now I think I can wait no longer. The time has come. I am going to switch them all on. I'm going to take them all off standby and get that nice, nice climb in the graph. 17 sitting in here. All right, I've turned them all on and look at the amount of waste coming out now. Holy moly. <laughs> if I hopefully have um, done this factory, done the rest of these factories correctly and I can actually handle all the waste that's getting shoved in here. Okay, a little bit of dips here. I don't know what's going on there. I'm, I'm hoping that that's just from when it um, used the final rod that was in it and then restarted a new rod after being put in standby. We'll have a look in here. What I have here is a little container um, overflow. Just in case I've messed something up in here, I have an overflow container here to take some waste um, while it gives me time to sort this system back out. Uh, but so far, so good. We're pumping out a lot of non fissile uranium at the moment. Well, there we go. I found the issue. Turns out it was just a bunch of pipes being jerks. These pipes here, which I had to put out on the edge, they do have pumps on them, there and there. But apparently the issue was it wanted another pump there and there. For no reason, just because pipes are jerks. And yeah, basically that's why. And there we go, now we have a nice solid line, OCD friendly, and we have 247,000 megawatts of power. Hell yes. Let's go take a trip over to the other factories and have a quick look around. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, Jed was here. Uh, it used to be safe. It used to be safe to stand here. But uh, apparently not n anymore. Sorry, Jed. You died, mate. He only had a hover pack and a few other things. I might just... Ah, I'll leave it. He'll be right. <laughs> Alright, the good news is I haven't... This factory seems to be holding up. Dealing with the waste. And uh, none of... Like my emergency container here hasn't needed to be used yet with the overflow. Absolutely excellent. Well, the non-fissile uranium is not even radioactive. Look at this. I'm not. I'm. Oh, I have to literally stand on top of it to take any form of radioactive uh, damage. Yeah. So we're using 93,000 megawatts, and that's probably going to keep climbing up. 94,000. That's going to keep climbing as more and more of these particle accelerators come online. And that is it. That is the final product. We got 
247,000 megawatts of power and we're turning it into 12.5 plutonium fuel rods per minute and sending them into the crusher and there we have it 70 nuclear plants doing no nuclear waste at all bearing in mind with these 12 per minute once this is actually fully online uh, we will be able to make 120 more well we could make 125 more but you always want to give the power plants a bit more than they need yeah that's it what i'll do is i will um share the save file for you if anyone wants this save file uh it's completely vanilla you won't need any mods at all and um have a look around do whatever you want with it really and yeah that's it that will do for today i'm pretty happy the way this has all turned out um if you do grab the save file not everything will be uh up and running yet because obviously things like big systems like this take a long last time to um to become fully operational but uh we do have the 247,000 megawatts of power with no waste so not a bad little save file to play around with actually um and i'll leave a link in the description to uh how to get that from the google drive but other than that hope you enjoyed it and I will leave it there for today. Catch us later.